beautiful people and welcome to Lux DIY. I'm Christina and today I'm going to be showing you how I made this Oscar de la Renta inspired necklace. Their original version is $790. Mine you could make for a lot less and I think it actually came out a lot better. So please subscribe to our channel and hit that like button down below and let's begin. For my materials, I have an assortment of jewelry tools, I have E6000 glue, end pins, a lobster clasp, and some jump rings, and I have a few different sizes of pearls, it's up to you whichever you would like to use, and I have my red coral. I'm also going to be using some popsicle sticks just to prop up my piece while I'm working on it, but anything that you find with a flat surface will do. I'm going to be looking for a longer piece of coral to start with as my beginning piece. So I am now going to glue a jump ring onto the very top of my coral piece, but just make sure that you only glue it about halfway on so that you're leaving yourself a little bit of room to attach it to the necklace through the jump ring. So I'm going to glue some smaller pieces to this and kind of make it look like a branch and you could make it however big or small that you want to make it. If you look at the design of my necklace, I actually do have some smaller pieces towards the top. Now we're going to start making our pearl pins and again it's whichever size you prefer to use. I'm going to begin by cutting off the end part of one of my pins just because it didn't come with a loop already made. Then I'm going to use my pliers and bend it into an L shape. I will then cut off any excess length and then I will use the round nose pliers and make a loop. Using a jewelry pliers with a curved angle, I will now open up a jump ring and start attaching my pieces. 